welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated the task number one and task number two have a little bit changes okay so this is a workaround we are going to use in this lab okay and first of all just log in with your credentials and activate your cloud shell now what you have to do just copy this big query data set name go to your workaround and make the changes with this okay just change the name of the data set now for the bucket name go to your lab instruction copy this bucket name come over here and make the changes over here okay like this now just copy all this command of task number one and paste over here click on authorize and you are good to go now this will going to take couple of minutes meanwhile just search for the big query open this thing in new tab and i will recommend you Every time when you try to open any services, just open the new tab instead of open, opening in the same thing. Now click on done. Now if you just click on this, you will can see there is a data set name called lab and some no random number which we already create over here. Okay. Now what you have to do, click on this three dot, then click on this create table. From here, just choose the Google Cloud Storage. Now just go to your lab instruction, go to your task number one. and copy this thing from cloud to dot csv like this copy that and paste over here now here please pay attention guys for the table name we have to change the table name or give the table name as given in the lab instruction where you can find the table name if you just scroll down in big query output table at last customer underscore some random number okay so this is our table name we have to use in this lab so just copy this thing carefully and paste over here okay now just wait until this command get executed properly So it's completed. Now just copy from. Let me just increase the text size for you. Okay. Now just copy from this square bracket to this like this. Okay. Just copy that. Go to your big query and click on this. Enable this thing and just paste over here. Okay. Sometimes what happen? You have not uh, access to uh, make changes over here. That time just close this tab. Open the big query again. Make all the changes and then try to paste over here. Okay. now simply click on create table and it will be done in few seconds now simply click on go to job okay click on this close okay here you can see the table has created now what we have to do simply search for the data flow click on this jobs and we don't need of that big query anymore so just click on this now for the job name just type quick lab you can give any name i'm just giving quick lab dot job dash job for the data flow template just scroll up copy this thing copy that come over here and paste now from here just choose the uh, process data in bulk batch click on this and just wait for a second and you will get option to paste uh, multiple parameters so just copy this thing paste over here okay let me just increase the size for you because we have to just make little changes over here then copy this paste over here and then just remove the js colon forward slash like this here you can see green tick now just copy this transform paste over here for the big query output table copy this paste in here big query output table place now just copy input path and paste over here now for the temporary big query location just copy this and paste over here okay now just remove the js colon forward slash like this and for the temporary location just copy this and paste over here okay and just remove this js colon forward slash so once you done with this 
your template must be look like this. Now what we have to do, just simply click on this show optional parameter and check this checkbox and for here series choose E2 and for the machine type it must be E2 standard 2. Here you can see we have to make the changes over here as given in the library instruction. So finally your template must be look like this. Now simply click on run jobs. Now this is going to take 6 to 8 minutes so just uh, continue with the task number 2. For that just search for the data prep no sorry data probe data prop okay proc open this thing in new tab now click on create cluster from here just choose the compute engine click on create now please pay attention guys check your reason for me is us west one so i am going to make changes accordingly so us west one okay now click on this configure nodes for the series choose e2 and for the machine type it must be e2 standard 2 ok now just scroll down in worker node again make the changes it's e2 and e2 standard 2 ok now simply click on create now this thing is going to take couple of minutes so you can just wait until this thing is going this thing is completed and here it will be also uh, take around 6 to 8 minutes so just be patient and wait So it's finally done. Now simply click on this name. Then click on this VM instance. And just wait for to get uh, this SSS option enabled. Meanwhile, you can just do one thing. Just come on the task number two and just copy this command. Okay. Do not copy that uh, closing function back bracket. So just copy like this. And just wait for a couple of seconds and here you can see the SSS option is enabled just simply click on that and just run that command over here 
ओके सो इट्स फाइनली डन नाउ जस्ट सिंपली क्लोज दिस टैब एंड देन क्लिक ऑन दिस जॉब्स देन सबमिट जॉब एंड फ्रॉम हियर जस्ट चेंज द रीजन एज गिवन इन द लैब इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर यू एस वेस्ट वन सो जस्ट चूज दैट वन देन यू हैव द ऑप्शन टू चूज यूर क्लस्टर सो जस्ट चूज यूर क्लस्टर फॉर द जॉब टाइप इट मस्ट बी स्पार्क द सेकेंड ऑप्शन फॉर द मेन क्लास जस्ट कॉपी दिस पेस्ट ओवर हियर फॉर द जार फाइल कॉपी दिस पेस्ट ओवर हियर फॉर द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स कॉपी दिस एंड इन द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स फाइल पेस्ट दैट not archive file not in arg arguments files okay please make sure of that thing okay you are pasting the in right box now for the maximum uh, restart hour it's 1 okay make sure your file and job must be look like this and then simply click on submit now it is going to take couple of minute also you can just check the data flow is succeed or not just wait for a second and here you can see for me it's take around 4 minute and 7 second okay so now we can just simply close this uh, data flow job tab and if you want you can see we got a score for the task number 1 also now this thing is going to take couple of minutes let's go and continue with the task number 3 so just search for the data prep open this thing in new tab now click on this click on accept click on this click on agree and continue click on allow choose your student id and then click on allow check this box and click on accept now click on continue now please pay attention guys what you have to do just copy the name of the lab go to the my telegram channel the link is in description box okay just come over there and in search just paste the name of the lab and here you can see one file flow quick lab dot zip this file just save this file to your local system okay then click on this flow icon from here then click on import flow and choose the file which we downloaded from my telegram channel just click on that click on open and it will be done in couple couple of second as you can see it's completed click on that close now open this file now please pay attention guys this is a uh, very important task what you have to do click on this output then click on this run okay now click on this if you just hover over here you can see this edit option just click on this now we have to just change this location okay so just in your dashboard search for the bucket open this thing in new tab that's why i said you have to open every services in the new tab okay now here you can see we are in the data prep okay here you can see data prep so in bucket just search for the data prep and the most of the time is first option data prep st staging this is the name of the bucket so double click over there then here you can see one student id so just click on student id folder click on that then you can see job run click on that okay so now this is a path okay now just copy click on this copy option and then go to your data prep i hope you got what i'm saying now click on this edit path and here just paste that path your path must be look like this your data prep then your student and job run simply click on go and do not worry about this error just simply click on this job run okay as you can see once you click on this job run you will get a option to update no need to make any other changes just perform this task if you get confused just uh, rewind the video and just watch from the task number 3 now simply click on 
update and no need to make any other changes simply click on run so you are done with the task number three also because all the changes if you can see all these changes i already make the file for you and just we have to just upload that file now for the task number four what we have to do just copy this thing okay just copy this of the cloud natural uh, language just copy that go to your task number four and here just copy from here to here and paste and your file must be look like this now just copy all this content okay like this go to your dashboard and run over here that's it it will take couple of seconds and you are done with the all the task so it's completed now just check the score for the task number four if you just simply click on check your progress you will get a score without any issue so as you can see we got a score for task number one and task number four now check the score for the task number two just check is data pro is succeed as you can see the job is success so now let's check the score for the task number two also if you just scroll down click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number three just check the is this job is completed or not it uh, maximum take four to five minutes to complete this job so just be patient and wait for that So it's finally done as you can see it took around four minutes for me now just check the score for the task number three also so that's the way we have to complete complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day